Please welcome Mrs. Bell Booker. Thank you, Fred, fellow Toastmasters, and the guests we have today. Our presiding officer said bold and exciting. <laughs> this is going to be bold and exciting. <laughs> Our re revolutionary event happened in June, and it was true to rock. And I want to give you a little bit of background. It is sponsored by Car Type. And Car Type, most of us know, is a specialist for radiation therapy founded in 1976, and they have helped people like over 78,000 people in the last few years. Most of them, like 9,500, is lung cancer. 6,800, I think, is prostate cancer. 3,500 breast cancer, and the beautiful thing about car time, whether you have the ability to pay or not for the services, they will treat you. Phenomenal, phenomenal foundation. One of the fundraising, fundraisers that they put on once a year is the Church of Rock. Now I want to give you a little bit of background. I've never rode a bicycle in 25 years. Three weeks before this race, I decided to do it. <laughs> and I kind of want to give you a little what all's involved. <laughs> Afterwards, everyone can come up here and they can see my riding buddies. But any time that you decide to ride a bike, there are some necessities that you have to have. One, you definitely need good sunglasses that go across because there's going to be lots of bugs along the way. <laughs> the first and the most important thing is your helmet. Because when you fall and you crash on the pavement, you definitely want to protect your inner brains. <laughs> What's up there? Now, not everybody uses this gear. But for Belva, I was an avid runner, and due to some health issues and impairments, I can't run anymore. So guess what? Here I am, guys. <laughs> I'm an avid cyclist now. <laughs> I want to share some of these experiences. The True to Rock had a family ride of 18 miles, and then they had the advanced rides. Those were 30, 50, and 100. Well, first of all, I just got on a bike three weeks before the race, and the longest I'd ever rode was 20 miles. So my heart was beating. I was scared to death. It was kind of like the first year in Toastmasters. <laughs> Remember back when you get up in front and you're scared to death? So I want to give you a little background. The lady in the middle is Marilyn Wheeler. I work with her. She's 62 years old. The one on the right is Jenny's shoemate. She's 67 years old. These girls have been riding for the past two years, and so this was a piece of cake for them. I'm the new kid on the block, okay? I was scared to death. It's kind of like running your first marathon. You don't know if you can do it or not. But once you do one, you can do them all. So this lady, the 67-year-old said, Bell Law, I'll stay with you. Said, I won't let you out of my sight. Thank God for help mm -hmm. along the way. <laughs> it was a revolutionary day. It was awesome. I didn't think I could do it. And there was rest stops along the way. And we would get refreshments. <coughs> and we'd get soft energy drinks with electrolytes that would help us revive the energy that we had lost. And Colson Oil was one of the biggest sponsors that did the, uh, was one of the biggest sponsors of the race. And they had the biggest and the most food and the most refreshments of all the stands. It was huge. But keep in mind, it was like after about 20 miles. So by that time, your body was just drained. It was, the last stop was in Protho Junction. And it was the day after the prior day, we had had a bad storm and the humidity, it was so hot. I, I can take heat, but that day, 
it just almost got to me. Had it not been for that last stop at the 40 mile mark, there was no way that I would have finished because I think I drank three or four mm -hmm. bottles that side, size with electrolytes in them. I only had 10 miles to go and I realized at that time after drinking that electrolyte drink, that's something I was going to get a whole bunch of. <laughs> In fact, now when you see me riding, my water is filled with water with electrolytes. I also carry a couple of these little tubes that have this hammer gel in it, which is goo. It has just pure sugar and it gives you a shot in the arm. It's kind of like caffeine. Trust me, you need it. <laughs> And we had so much fun, and I never thought that I would be a cyclist. But here I am, and I want to encourage anyone next year to come join me. If Belva can do it, everybody can do it. Thank you.